All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Loveline Rodo Elizabeth, what can I say about my beautiful Ugandan queen? My rock, my shield. There aren't many words that I can use to describe how much I love you. You are the true love of my life. You are an embodiment of God's fulfillment of purpose in my life. You are my mirror, my helper, my heartbeat, my confidant. But most of all, you are my best friend. Do you know what? You made me realise that there's still hope. You made me realise that out of everybody in this world, God made one for me. From this day forth, I devote the rest of my life to you. To love you, to cherish you, to protect, to support you, to embrace you, to lift you, to pray for you and to lay my life down for you. I want you to know that I am yours forever. You are the missing piece of the puzzle and mystery of my life and I truly thank God for your existence. I promise to cherish to look after you, to hold you. I'll be in your corner for the rest of your life. No matter what goes on, no matter what happens, no matter if you turn left, I'm gonna come with you. If you turn right, I'm there with you. I can't imagine the man that I would have become had you not stepped into my life. It may sound cheesy, but you make my life complete and I thank God continuously for you. I promise to be yours forever. I promise to love you through all the storms. I promise to uphold you in prayer. I promise that I will never stop fighting your corner. You are everything and I am all for you. I'm so happy that you will now bear my last name and I have connected you forever. I love you so much. Love your handsome son, Jamal Gray. P.S. Whenever you're mad at me, just read this letter and if at any point you're stressed, look at this and remember that this is the reason we are together. And I don't want you to ever, ever forget that I love you from my heart. What will they say of us? That we were young and beautiful and strong and valiant. That we built empires, conquered cities and had our names engraved on tablets of stone. I hope that they will say that we loved each other. That we fearlessly dangled our legs over cliff edges, drowning in our scarlet washed gowns, crowns too big for our heads, grins equally too big for our faces. I hope that they say we never stop learning what it means to be in love, that others found God in the pits of our smiles, and we were never afraid to cry because our tears meant something, and that our prayers were secret orchestras for an audience of three. With my body, I honor you. With all that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I wonder what they will say of us when we are gone. And all of our moments are concreted behind bedroom doors our hearts etched in the faces of our children. I heard that they once spoke of us trickling over the gentle hum of love songs, woven in the fibres of roses and blaze in the birthing of diamonds. I heard we were mentioned in the plays of old, 
found in the short breath between war and triumph and that we were before our time. I hope that they say we met at forever, at the crossroads of what others thought we were and what we thought of each other. I hope that they say our hearts met at eternity and we chose to never look back. Sisters, Mr. and Mrs. Gray! 